Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about whole numbers. So first of all let us see what are natural numbers. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on which we use for counting are known as natural numbers. Now let's see what is the successor of a whole number. To get the successor of a natural number, we add 1 to the natural number. For example, successor of 5 is given by 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6. Now let's see what is the predecessor of a natural number. To get the predecessor of a natural number we subtract 1 from the given natural number. For example, predecessor of 5 is equal to 5 minus 1 that is 4. Now, we can say that every natural number has a successor and every natural number except 1 has a predecessor. Now let's see what are whole numbers. Natural numbers along with zero from the collection of whole numbers. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on are the whole numbers. Now again we can say that every whole number has a successor and now the predecessor of 1 will be 0. So every whole number except 0 has a predecessor. Now let's move on to our next topic, number 9. First of all, draw a line like this and now mark a point on it and label it as 0. Now mark a second point on the right of 0 and label it as 1. Now the distance between 0 and 1 is called the unit distance. Now on this line, mark another point on the right of 1 at a unit distance. That is, the distance between 0 and 1 and 1 and this point should be same and label it as 2. Now mark another point on the right of 2 at a unit distance and label it as 3. Now we will keep on labeling the numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. 
So, this is the number line for whole numbers. Now, as you can notice that on the number line, number 8 lies on the right of number 5. Also, 8 is greater than 5. Similarly, number 6 lies on right of number 1. Also, 6 is greater than 1. So, from this we can conclude that the whole number on the right, on the number line is greater. Or we can also say that whole number on the left, on the number line is smaller. As the number 5 lies on the left of number 8, also 5 is less than 8. Same way, number 1 is less than number 6 and it is on the left of 6. That means whole number on the left is smaller. Now let's see how to add two whole numbers on the number line. Suppose we want to add 2 and 5. Now first of all let us draw the number line. So here is the number line. Now we want to add 2 and 5. So first of all we will start with 2. Here is the number 2. Now, we need to add 5 to the number 2. So, we will make 5 jumps on the right of 2. That is, from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. So, we reach at the point 7. That means, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. Now let's see how to subtract two numbers on the number line. Suppose we want to subtract 3 from 8. So let's draw the number line. Here we want to subtract 3 from 8. So we will start with 8. So here we have the number 8. Now we want to subtract 3. So we will make 3 jumps on the left of 8. That is from 8 to 7, 7 to 6 and 6 to 5. So we reach at the point 5. That means 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Next we have multiplication on the number 9. Suppose here we want to multiply 2 and 3. So first of all we will draw the number line. Now here we want to multiply 2 and 3. So, we will start with 0 and we will move 2 units at a time because we have first number as 2 and we will make 3 such moves. So, this is our first move, second move and third move. So, we reach at the point 6. That means 2 into 3 is equal to 6. And with this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.